Hello, this is Craig, and this is the progress I've made on this little toy. First thing is, I've added a day-night cycle. As you can see, it's now night. Uh, this is a very fast cycle, just for demonstration purposes. So, just as before, you can build a base, and red air means that there's not enough, and white air means that there's plenty, and black air means that there's not at all. So you can see that our little character is breathing hard because there's not quite enough air, but that's okay. Now there, now there is, because this thing fills us up with air. But how do we build stuff besides these generic walls? Well, we don't have anything else in our inventory. All we've got are generic walls. That's okay. If we access our starting facility, you can see that we've got all these options. We'll just add all of them. There we go. Now we've got all this stuff we can build. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, build ourselves a little bed. And we can go to sleep. Yeah, well. Alright, we don't really need to go to sleep yet, so let's go ahead and do some other stuff. What's this device terminal? Alright, I just built a device terminal. What does it do? It's unpowered. It doesn't do anything. Oh, okay, so we have to wire it up. So let's go ahead and switch into wiring mode and connect it to the only source of power we have at the moment. Go back into build mode. Now when we, now when we hit up, oh look, more options. So each of these terminals has blueprints in it, and we can use these blueprints for all the things we might need. There we are. Our, uh, our inventory is full. But what are all of these things? Well, the coprocessor doesn't really do anything quite yet, um, but what it does is it connects... If it's adjacent to a terminal, then the terminal provides you with more blueprints. Uh, but for right now, it's just decoration, so let's get rid of it. Uh, but we do have some stuff that does actually work. Oh, a day is coming. Uh, for example, we have plants. Plants produce air, just like uh, the main facility here, except for they don't require any power. Vents also produce air, but they require power. So, you know. Uh, what does a light wall do? Well, if you do this, you can see the light walls produce light, like this. Now, uh, that's pretty harsh. Let's go ahead and reduce it a little bit. Whoa! I didn't mean to do that! Very amusing. I fired myself out into space by accident. Alright, so now we've got two light walls. But that white light is really harsh. Well, let's go ahead and, uh, and make ourselves a little bit of a disco. So let's put a timer here. And uh, you might ask what a timer does. Well, it allows you to set it to any kind of seconds. Let's turn it off for the moment. Otherwise, our lights will end up out of syncopation. And let's go into program mode. In program mode, we can grab these lights and drag them down into the timer, like so. Now when the timer fires, these lights will fire. But we want them to be in trigger link, so that they will change every single time it fires. So now we're going to go back into build mode, and we'll turn the timer on. Oh, one second delay. Pretty cool. Now here's a, a little secret I'll tell you before uh, before anything else happens. We can build a little teeny timer. So we've got the big vertical timer, but we've also got the little teeny timer. And the difference is that while the big timer goes from one second to four seconds, the little timer goes from a quarter of a second to two seconds. So depending on what kind of timing you need, you may want to use different arrays of timers. So this is all just pretty basic at the moment. It's not really a, uh, a good enough system to really show you guys, but I think that I am almost there. I think that by the end of this weekend I'll have a prototype that's good enough to let you guys play with, uh, and I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So um, I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Even just like this, it's already showing a lot of signs that it is is pretty fun. Um, there's, no, there's no difficulties with that. Uh, oh, I've just caused a collapse. That's not quite what I intended to do. Uh, it's all going south. And now I'm unconscious. And the whole base is imploding. And I guess I'll leave it at that. That's what you get when you stack giant blocks of iron and plastic on top of almost nothing. So uh, when you play the game, don't do that unless you want to spend a lot of time trying to recover.